Hey my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I've got you a full body workout and it is going to be Pilates style. It is a 45 minute burn to toning class. We're going to do some cardio moves in between to pump up your heart rate. So it's going to be nice and sweaty and you're going to burn tons and tons of calories. All you need is just yourself and a mat and once you're ready, hop onto it and let's get burning. We start with a nice quick warm up, hands to hips, big circles. And return to the other side. Side bends. Switch. Mobilizing to move left and right. Swinging arms to let go. Hands extended out to shoulder stands. Circles on arms. Rotating in for wrists. Internal, external presses back. One hand to the hip to twist in for spine to extend arm. Switch the same on the other side. Taking both your hands on your back, giving yourselves a nice back stretch and relax. Moving on to legs, spreading legs wide, side lunge to one side, a triangle stretch to the other, switch. Bending both your knees, getting down deep on legs and swaying hips left to right. Lifting the balls of your feet off the mat onto heels. Tiny pulses down. And with that, straighten your legs and go straight down to stretch for hamstrings and your lower back. Getting hold of the elbows and swaying your body left to right for the ragdoll sways. Triangle stretch, taking the hand to your ankle, any one side to stretch up. Switch to the other, open chest and heart. And with that, let's get in a deep sweep down to up. Inhale to exhale up. One more, inhale, exhale. Interlock your fingers right behind your head for a nice crunch. Some neck release to finish. Dropping chin down to chest. To chin up. Chin parallel to shoulder. Switch. And with that, let's begin with a nice quick jog. Work to the length of your mat, moving side to side. Lateral jogs. Mm -hmm. 
now working back and front, back and forth, keeping your abs pulled in and staying on top of your feet. And keep breathing. All right, I hope you're feeling good and warmed up. Let's begin getting into deep squats, legs separated to hip distance apart, and down and up on glutes, swinging arms in sync with your squat, and try to get as deep as you can on your glutes, knees go above ankles, Now deep pulses down for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands taken right behind your head. Prisoner squat, lifting heels one leg at a time. Let's build that burn. Breathe and keep your abs pulled into the spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release, chin up. Give me a slight back bend to forward bend. Straighten the legs, straighten the spine. Spinal fold forward to back. Legs going wider than hips, toes facing lateral outside. Hands taken out to shoulder stance. Play a squat dip to a lunge dip. Open to plie, close to lunge. Keep switching sides. Nice straight back, pulled in abs. And keep the flow going with good breathing. Plie pulses, back to center, hands taken above your head, tiny little fiery pulses to build the burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Now I'm moving on to a quick cardio, hands taken above head, knee high marches, marching legs. Bringing elbows down to knees. More length on core and spine. Going 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax and moving on to some mat work. Coming to the end of your mat, pressing upper body towards lower, and aiming to plank walk, touching knees to the mat, bringing back to jump hands up, plank walk, knees touch ground, walking back, to jump, walking on full hands and not on fingertips, and keeping your abs engaged and pulled in, work for it, three more.
single leg kick back to extensions lifting one leg staying on the other nice and strong extend the leg back and tucking the knee in back and forward to knee in involves a lot of balance so make sure you're looking straight at a point of focus Staying very well imprinted on the standing leg. Release the switch sides. Extend to in. Calf raises to come on standing to lift heels away from the ground and down. Up and down. Extending arms right in front for more core stability. And keep going. Six more. All right, diving into some more squats to leg extensions. Extending arms away to shoulder stand, squatting to hip distance apart. You're gonna bring one of your leg into you, extending the leg out. Squat to extend, opening and closing for chest. Two more. And relax, let's switch to the other side. Squat down low, extend into out. Breathe and pulling abs into spine. Now let's release the legs and work in for some arms alone, standing legs wide with soft knees, elbows into hips, rotate to extend out, in to rotate out. More repetitions, yeah? A little more faster pace if you can, in, tuck, out. Now palms facing behind and gentle pulses, squeezing in for upper back. Going in for an isometric squat, chest press to tricep kick back. Pulses for the back. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Good work. A moment to just breathe. Because we're getting into some burpees. Jump to the top of the mat. Down to step back on legs, step in, jump up straight, taking legs back for the plank, marching legs forward to jump. Let's 
Let's go three more of this. Keep breathing through the process. Quick battery burn. Working on to that fat zone. I'm sure you're breaking some good sweat already. Moving on to lunge to kick back. Lunging on legs to kick back on the leg which is behind. Swinging your arms in sync with your legs. Find core stability. Focus and find your balance. Two more on this side. Switch legs. Lunging down to kick back. Working on for some nice standing core, extending one hand to the side and taking the other behind your head. Crunching for sides for your obliques. Exhale when you go down, inhale up. No tiny pulses. Now switch to the other side. Bending more further into obliques. Hold it down. I hope you felt your sides. And let's get into our last move before we have a break. Walk your hands down to plank walk. Mountain climbers side to side. Walk back. Walk in. Side to side. Touching feet to the ground. Try to put your entire body weight on your hands so you're feeling more arms and pulling your abs in to feel more core. And with that, let's get to the child's resting pose. We're going to spend about 30 seconds over here to really breathe and relax. And you can also sip some water if you want to. And let's continue from here, coming onto your knees and your hands. Lifting into the bird dog stance. One leg out and the opposite arm extended straight out. 
Tiny little pulses working in to squeeze your posterior chain. Drop down and switch sides. Tiny pulses. Lengthen your arm, lengthen your leg and point your toes. And from there, getting into a nice modified plank on knees, dropping the glutes down. Engage your core completely on hands. Press down to back fly and reaching yourself up on plank. Down to push up, lift for a fly and up with all your core strength onto the plank. Keep doing this nice and slow and controlled. And when you lift, try to squeeze your back. Let's go two more of it. Wonderful work, a couple of seconds to just breathe. And we're getting into the plank to pike. Onto hands, flexing foot to downward dog. to full plank, to pike. Make sure you're flowing through these two postures. Keeping the abs pulled in. Getting into the upward facing dog. Hold the stretch. And down to the child's resting pose. Another 30 seconds to breathe. Close your eyes and relax as much as you can. And with that, we come to one last standing sequence on the mat. Legs separated to hip distance apart. We're going to go for lateral squat walks. And leg extensions. Walk to the end of the mat. And extend legs out. Keep going. Working arms in sync with the legs. Double plie squat pulses to punches. Two pulses down. One, two, three, four punches. Two pulses down, four punches up. Keep breathing through this. 
bunches are nice and brisk. Last one. And relax. Taking both your hands right behind or side to side on oblique crunches. Down deep on the squat for the legs. And side to side for core. With that, we get to the mat on the kneeling position. Interlock your fingers and take it right behind your head. Spinal twist to kneeling squats. Getting the glutes down closer to the leg. Maintain a nice length on your spine. Elbows are nice and opened up. Now falling down to any one side, extending the opposite leg. I want you to give yourself a nice deep side stretch and begin to crunch to extend. Crunch bringing the knee into elbow and out. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale when you crunch. Inhale up. Now hold the stance and give me pulses for five, four, three, two, and release. I really hope that you felt that burn. Let's get into the opposite side for some deep lunges to stretch. Breathe here, maintaining length on the spine with engaged core. Switch and do the same thing on the other side. Tipping down on hand, giving yourself a full deep stretch to the side. And once you're ready, begin to crunch to extend stretch. You can drop the leg down if you feel like you're losing your balance. If you want to spice it up, just stay up in the air. Exhale to crunch, inhale to open. And hold up to pulses, tiny pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cartwheeling your hands to shift for deep lunges to stretch to the other side. And with that, let's get to lie down on any one side. You can either stay on your elbow or you can fall down flat to the side. Bending both your knees, toes go pointed. You're going to lift the upper leg out parallel to lift to extension. Make sure the body is not falling forward or folding backwards. Keeping a nice tight core. And once you're ready, stay up. And little circles. Breathe. And really punch it out, tap it out. Good work. And this time you're going to go forward to back kick. Forward kick to back kick.
And with that, you're gonna extend both your legs out straight. You're gonna lift for the upper leg and pulse for the bottom leg. And bring it in to punches to release. And once you're ready, up to switch sides. Knees in together, lifting for the top leg, up for extensions. Holding your core tight, your upper body nice and stabilized. Now hold it up, tiny little circles, toes away from the body. To release. Forward to back kicks. Try to lengthen your leg out fully to stretch and find that length. Extending both the legs up in the air holding static to the top and pulsing the bottom leg for inner thighs. Now turn around to the prone lying position. Hands are by your side, elbows are brushed into the body. You're gonna lift your upper body up to press down. This is a beautiful arm to tricep work. So make sure you're putting your body weight to your hands. And use your arm strength to come up. Now holding the legs up at the same time, you're gonna go forward extension on arms and open on the legs. Forward to open. Reaching for the back fly, look down, chin down to chest, aligning neck to spine. Three more of this, keep breathing. Flexing both your foot underneath and lifting to bend one of your leg to tiny little glute pulses upward to sky. Lifting the knee up way up high to feel that nice pinch on the glute. Two more. And hold it up high for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, one. Release. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Bend the knee. Flex the foot and pressing up to sky. Breathe. And hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slow release down. Good work, with that let's stretch out the back a bit. You're gonna take one leg to the other side and press with your palms down to ground. Spinal twist to release your back. Let's roll over to our back for some Pilates abs. The back is imprinted to the mat, hands are by your side. Now 
And we're gonna tuck off to lift both your legs up. Lifting head up for a nice crunch and working in for some leg extensions. Toes are pointed away from the body. Breathe. At this time, you're going to go out to in for knee tucks. Three more, two, and one. Dropping head down, interlocking your fingers, taking it right behind your head. Spread your legs out wide, imprinting your spine and taking to lift off. Bicycle crunches, opposite leg to arm. Five, four, three, two, and one to relax. Now flexing both your foot underneath, lifting the heels away from the ground. Reaching yourselves for a nice high glute bridge. Opening knees out to close for butterfly. Pull your abs into spine. Four, three, two, and one. Tucking your hands right under your butt cheeks, lifting both the legs up straight. Leg drops, drop it down lower to the ground, coming up to reverse crunch. Down low, to crunch. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale down, exhale, crunch. and release. Final move for this class, get into a nice glute pelvic bridge, working for upper body as well, pressing to pulse up and dropping to extend arms above head. Exhale, thrust, inhale, drop, and up. Two. And one. And let's hold to finish with a static pelvic bridge. Lifting the heels up, holding it nice and tight high, squeezing your butt cheeks for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, reach higher, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done with that. We are done with this beautiful full body session. Let's get into some nice stretches and cool down. And I think you truly deserve this. Taking both your legs to one side and twisting for spine to extend the top leg over. Feel a beautiful stretch on the spine. Back 
the center for the butterfly stretch. Feet together, knees apart. Tiny pulses for your inner thighs. Bending to lift one of your legs straight up to sky. Flex the foot underneath to point. Flex to point. Getting in some ankle rotations for your ankle. And now gently pressing the knee down closer to body for hamstring stretch. And taking the leg to the other side, grabbing your thigh from the inside for a beautiful outer thigh quad four stretch. Flex to point. Flexing the foot to gently pulse the leg in towards your upper body. Ankle rotations. And taking it to the other side to grab your thigh from the inside to feel the outside of your thighs. Now knees are pumped into the body and tiny little pulses swaying back and forth. Opening the legs out, spreading from inner thighs for happy baby. Grab your ankles and sway your body side to side. A great passive massage for your lower back. Get hold of your ankles and try to drop your knees inward towards each other for an internal drop. Hold. Give yourselves a full body stretch. And with that, we come to the end of this video. I really hope that you broke some good sweat and that you're feeling good from head to toe. An amazing 45 minute stretch. Thank you so much for tuning in and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more videos like this in the future. And I would love to hear your feedback. So please comment below saying how you felt or any suggestions that you have for future videos of mine. Being a health and a fitness coach, fueling my body with the right type of food and nutrition is a key part of my day. I'm always on the lookout for products that align with my values and deliver exceptional results. New Herbs True Plant Protein ticks all the boxes, rich in various essential nutrients including fiber, vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. It provides the necessary amino acids to repair and rebuild muscle tissue. Addition of omega-3 supports the normal functioning of heart. It's 100% plant-based, soy-free and lactose-free product providing 24 grams of protein per serving and it's a perfect combination of brown rice and pea protein isolate. It's got added BCAAs, probiotics and digestive enzymes for good gut health. And they have fun, tasty flavors like mango and coffee.